morning assalamu alaikum sir this is simon and welcome to our group presentation today we are going to talk about ictr we have a three members in our group now i am starting our presentation legal statements after massive abuse of human rights are regarded as means to achieve peace and reconciliation even if international legal settlement are a reality new minimanian nation settings have existed throughout history justice has not always been the main goal traditionally the state have chosen different way of handle traumatic past strategies included the legal settlements through communication compensation simply not doing anything at all we approximately 1 million people killed during the 3 months in april to july 1994 The genocide is Rwanda was one of the most extensive of the 20th century. The international community did to little to prevent the genocide but wanted to throw the establish the International Criminal Tribunal of Rwanda to prosecute the main architects of the genocide of the thereby the contribute of the relevant of peace or reconciliation. the main tribunal of many contribution of the development of the international legal practice of the position individual of the crime against the international humanitarian law at the same time the rwanda authorized are contracting much more extensive legal settlement more than 100000 suspects are held in overloaded persons in rwanda waiting for trials in order of the face this great challenge the authorized have included popular courts the process is also part of country's strategy to achieve the nation unity of recognition the report of forces of the two particular legal statement of rwanda is their challenges it started trip the rwanda tanzania february 2002 the trip include the interviews of the responsible Uh, the rwanda authorized non governmental organization religious leaders academics students journalists people accused of the genocide representative of the international organization and ordinary people the declaration of the community followed the short sequence of ongoing cases of the arshua tribunal international representation from the three units of the tribunal the court chamber the prosecutor and the administrative as well the independent observes in the addition of the report variety of relevant international report of studies historical background around is among the most densely populated of the poorest countries in the africa approximately 8 million people inhabit in area 26338 square kilometers rwanda remained relatively sparsely united until the country of 1994 atrocious genocide in the course of the 3 months from the april to july approximately 1 million people were killed and tens of thousands of women were raped to discover the reason of for what happened in 1994 and to understand the background of today settlement in rwanda both of the national on an international level we need to talk a closer look of the country and earlier and recent history rwanda is usually said the east were nominated cattle herders herders of nil delta who during the 15th century moved southeast were in cattle the explanation differ a common vision has it that two kalans settles between the lake vectors of the state of c or the two of the west they were militarily economically and culturally strong the hans wandered first from the west of the africa countries the beginning the second millennium they established an agriculture base they chose the avondish and traditionally have lived the hunting and breeding in more recent time they respect about one part of population of the same there was the some mobility between the group uh, every round the would be called the two street provide one of the owned more the certain number of cattle a poor two street could fail the into position the smell small present of the cult due to mixed marriage it is sometimes different to see the difference between two street 
in round the cook people want to fix marriage where the called husti several cases are the know the husti were killing during the genocide because they looked at husti and where the husti survey because they looked like in hutus the early history rawanda as to hard the documents between the three or writing source all history have been passed through the rich or uh, traditional the royal court for the 156 rawanda was the kingdom of the king It was the two sting thank you sir now i would like to request our next group member for participate our presentation Thank you for giving me this opportunity to speak here our honorable faculty Khaled Ahmed sir now i discuss on my part this civil war in the same year the rawandan patriotic front rpf5 launched attack on the regime and civil war broke out the organization had with increasing strength claimed the right of the return of rawanda for post refugee the Ugandan rebel leader Yuri Mesubini had trained many young Rwanda refugees who helped him take power in Kampala in 1986 in this way the RPF developed an army ready for battle which was probably stronger than the army of the regime in Kigali the quick advances for the RPF in 1990 was halted due to the French intervention and support for Hibri Manas regime following several failed attempts to secure cases fire and attempt to end the civil war was made through the Arshua agreement on of 4 August 1993 between the government of Rwanda and according to the agreement an interim government consisting of members of the president's party the opposition parties and RPF should be established within 37 days stay in power until free election were to be held at the end of 1990 five parts of uh, rpf should be incorporated into the regular army of rwanda the tutsi refugees should be allowed to, to return home the agreement for for save uh, the presence of the natural uh, international force 25000 men who were to observe the empty implementation of the agreement however the agreement was never implemented probably because extreme power within the regime in kigali disliked the idea sharing power however the agreement was never implemented probably because extreme power within the regime in kigali disliked the idea of sharing power instead of implementing uh, the arshura agreement the regime uh, worked at Uh, fully forced out preparation for the final situation uh, of the conflict with the task to the human rights uh, even if human rights situation in rwanda has drastically improved for the last years the country is still facing several challenges ruben ni busy secretary of the human rights organization liplo do uh, claims that freedom of speech in the civil uh, political rights facing uh, facing the biggest challenge million people considering the rapid growth of the population the uh, effort improved of uh, fight uh, poverty but the country needs Uh, international help to be able handle this challenge the tragic past is still present in rwanda but conspicuously torn down everybody has a relative that were uh, either killed or who joined the move according to the recorder at the university dear email ramardo uh, it is native to believe that uh, the harder is gone as if by magic after the genocide and points out uh, points out uh, points out that all the student must attend a six week course and uh, reconciliation before starting their studies the judicial system the judicial system around the is divided into 12 uh, counties further divided into uh, municipalities a report written by the norwegian people aid describe the court system as follows tribunal the canton in every municipality a secondary magistrate judges the civil cases and small smaller cases without a prosecutor and defender judicial authority on the county level after the genocide it took several years uh, several years uh, to restore all these tribunal judges in every case so which appeals from court of the first instance and largest criminal cases prosecutor but not defender in every case the uh, international criminal tribunal for round the ictr the un uh, uh, security council uh, council was for a long time reluctant to acknowledge that genocide had taken uh, 
place in Rwanda probably to avoid the uh, commitments following from such as uh, such an acknowledgement only close to the uh, end of the genocide one a uh, one July 1994 the Security Council appointed an ex part commissioner to investigate the claims of genocide exactly three months later the first report was released which concluded that systematic and planted genocide uh, had happened the commission recommended that an international tribunal similar to for Rwanda, 1 8 October 1994, four months after the falling of the genocide regime, the established was historical. This was first international situation established to prosecute or international conflict. Also, the war of the former <coughs> republic in 1990 uh, had an international character. The tribunal success in bringing in justice, military uh, chiefs, local political uh, politicians, journalists, and also administrative defender involved in the genocide. The ICTR also draft a large uh, proportion of the legislation that serve as a model for other courts uh, worldwide today. Uh, this court can now uh, continue uh, the very important fight against uh, unity uh, in, uh, in, our, in our world Dilo age. Jeremy Matrilio, uh, Jelenar, a researcher, as, uh, a researcher at Human Rights Watch, uh, said that ICTR had made significant contribution to establishment of an international criminal prosecution system for crime against humanity. However, nine accused persons could not be transferred to Ashura, but the, this case were, be, were by now means forgotten and detention institution uh, Ashubis of the UN Delo noted. No prosecution of Tashi rebels. The ICTR had a mandate to uh, also prosecute for, uh, former Tashi rebels, some um, of whom now occupy leading uh, position to Rwanda. Not a single uh, RPF regime uh, was uh, investigated. We find it very uh, problematic that this other side uh, of the genocide has has not been dealt with by the court. Their justice is there to serve the victim and servitors and uh, to punish the perpetrators. ICTR was not based in, to, uh, in or near Rwanda, but in the north of the Tanzania. The trials did not serve the purpose of the Rwandans and many Rwandans do not even know that such a tribunal every exercise happened. Few, few even traveled there, uh, Shukania told D in its duty to uh, dispense justice. How many people were convicted to what extent and based on what? Less than 70 people were uh, tried in almost 20 years. That was not satisfactory in Rwanda as a society. That no, that, that's not justice. I think it was a big failure. What the next step? Thank you. That's from my side. Thank you, Tushar. My topic is analysis and conclusion. Analysis. ICT had done their work not bad because the tribunal succeed in bringing to justice military chief, local politics, journalists and also administrative leaders involved in the genocide. But most offensive and the worker are not active and not enough ability so that they cannot most done work. This ICTR are too good. ICTR had made a significant contribution to the establishment of an international criminal procedure system of uh, uh, crimes against humanity, punishment giving causes balance and control everything. The, uh, they agreed and says their crimes. Pola's, uh, Pola also says that who are killing his mother, he forgives him. More criminal gone other country should active and takes law action. They trust one day criminal arrest for say sorry. They, uh, there are ways to hold the rest of the mis uh, miscreation uh, accountable even after the ICTR is shut down. One day maximum criminal found or caught. Laws are equal for everyone. Conclusion Prosecution on national international level of those trains responsible for grave abuse in the 1994 genocide in is an important condition to achieve peace and uh, recognition in Rwanda. 
must depend on how it is carried out and how it is perceived traditionally state have chosen different approach to handle uh, traumatic past usually it has been a choice between truth commissions legal uh, settlement and comprehension combinations of this on the has chosen legal settlement there are no amenities but but sentences are reduced if you confess and give information however in the long uh, long term the work of the tribunal has the uh, potential of contribution to consequences on a common historic understanding of the genocide and the ending of cultural of impunity for an international perspective the tribunal gives effect to uh, the principle that uh, serious international crimes cannot go unpunished and the tribunal contributes to the development of an international legal uh, perspective of the enforcement of the international human uh, human law the people of uh, rwanda were betrayed in 1994 genocide and crime against humanity were allowed to happen the international community can never make up for the injury it is important that the uh, rwanda are not betrayed again rwanda must therefore take in the uh, in its efforts to carry out an uh, ex uh, extent uh, legal settlement to strengthen the uh, recognition proce uh, process within the country and, um, uh, and to improve its human rights conduct. Uh, reconciliation cannot be imposed for, uh, from outside, yet the road to uh, reconciliation can be less essential uh, if the international community helps uh, rwanda with development aid support funds that pay compensation to genocide victim and help uh, building uh, a society res uh, respecting the uh, dignity and rights of everyone thank you for listening us